First, I want to write down the reactions. So let's start there. It says write down the reduction half reaction. Uh, so let's see if we can get that down. It says um, that it starts with this mercury one chloride. And that's a solid. And it says it forms liquid mercury and a chloride ion. So, because mercury in its elemental state would be a liquid uh, at standard conditions, and then the chloride ion, Cl minus. So, since it's an ion, it's a liquid. We want to balance the reduction half reaction. So the first step is always to balance anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. So let's balance the mercury. Two mercuries on each side and two chlorines on each side. The next two steps of balancing redox don't apply here because we don't have any oxygens and we don't have any hydrogens. So finally, uh, we'll just balance the charge and I need two electrons on the left hand side because I had two minus charges on the right hand side. So that makes the charge equal on both sides of negative two. So there's my reduction half reaction. Um, basically from writing out from the words it said in this middle sentence. Uh, and also I have the E standard for this. And that's 0 0.27, that's positive. Okay, for the next part, it says uh, this works with the standard hydrogen electrode, the SHE. So the standard hydrogen electrode is where we go from H2 to H+. Plus. I'm going to write it, or H+, plus really, to H2. But I'm going to write it as an oxidation because this one's a reduction. So we've got H2 goes to 2H+, plus, plus 2 electrons. This is a reaction to know. And again, I wrote it as the oxidation instead of the reduction because I have a reduction reaction right here. So I'll need an oxidation. And I know this E standard, and this is also one for you to know, it's zero. These are both in volts. So I can write the overall reaction. The overall reaction, I just add these up, the electrons will automatically cancel. So we have H, uh, mercury 1 chloride, solid, plus H2, and that would be a gas, I didn't write it before. Uh, the electrons will cancel, and this goes to 2 mercury liquid, uh, plus 2 Cl minus aqueous, plus 2... H plus, I didn't write it earlier, but this is also A plus, so those, whenever I have uh, something with a charge, I'll be aqueous. Now I can write my E standard again, it's just the sum of the previous two. And uh, so that would just simply be 0 0.27 times plus 0, or 0 0.27. According to standards, this is looking spontaneous, which is good. Well, that's how your pH meter works. So your pH meter really is measuring a voltage, uh, and then it converts it for you to pH. So we're not technically reading the pH concentration or, or the pH from the concentration uh, with your pH meter. We're measuring a voltage. Okay, so I've done those parts. I've got the overall concentration. Now it says... Uh, if the pressure of hydrogen is one atmosphere, here's hydrogen right there, and the pH of the measured solution is 4, so it's reading off 4, and the measured solution voltage is 0.77, what's the concentration in molarity of the chloride ion? So the chloride ion, uh, again, we know the, the partial pressure of H2 is 1. And we know the pH. The pH tells us about what important concentration. The H plus concentration, that's this one right here. So by telling us the pH, we really know the H plus concentration. 
Okay, so I want to find the concentration and molarity. Alright, so I'm going to use a Nernst equation. This is just like what you've been doing in lab. So let me write down that equation first. We're going to use this equation right here. Uh, I'll use That's the equation I want to use. E standard, I have already. Uh, I've just calculated it, 0.27. What's N? 2, because that's the number of electrons that cancel in this reaction. This 2 cancels with that 2. Okay, and then Q is a little more involved. Let me write Q out so you can see how Q works. Q, remember, has to do with equilibrium. Uh, it's products over reactants. And this one's kind of a funny one, so let me show you how this works. Um, so I'd have uh, H plus squared. I'd have Cl minus squared. I don't have to include the mercury because mercury is a liquid. And then on the bottom, uh, I have the H2, and this is actually going to be a partial pressure of H2. This is kind of a funny one. You probably have not seen this in your previous classes where we're mixing concentrations and partial pressures. The reason we're able to do this is that actually Q and K are not defined in terms of concentrations or partial pressures, but truly, does anybody remember? It starts with an A, ends in activity, and it's actually defined in terms of activity. And so those are normalized to one. And so you'll see occasionally in these sort of questions, you're going to mix concentration and partial pressure without having to convert between. Um, because we can't truly do the problem with information given if we're not doing an activity. So it's set up uh, for it to work for us. OK, so this would just be uh, the concentration of H plus squared times the concentration of Cl minus squared, and then, oh, let me get a different color pen, partial pressure of H2, this is just one, so I'm, I'm not going to write the denominator because I know it's just one. Okay, now let me put it into the Nernst equation. So I'm going to come down here with the Nernst equation. Uh, again, I am trying to find this. Cl minus concentration. I've got all the other values except that. So it's going to be, there's a number of ways to solve from here. I'll just show you the way I did it. Mine was a more algebraic way. You could have definitely used a different way had you preferred. Okay, so here's what I did. You measure 0.77. Uh, the standard concentration 0 0.27. 0 0.0592 divided by 2 times the log of uh, H plus <coughs> squared Cl minus squared. Since I'm kind of into math, uh, I went a mathematical route. The log of something squared can bring that exponent as a coefficient of the logarithm. If that didn't make sense, this won't either. But uh, I took the 0.27 on this side, 0 0.0592, divided by 2 times 2 log H plus Cl minus. Again, you don't have to solve it like this, but I brought that 2 out because it conveniently cancels. What's that? Did I forget a negative? Oh, yeah, thanks. And there's negative still right there. 